Let's master the second conditional. Hello learners, and welcome back to our comprehensive series on English grammar. Today, we're going to dive into the magical world of second conditional. This is a vital part of English grammar that often stumps even intermediate learners, but fear not. We're here to break it down and make it as easy as pie. The second conditional, also known as the unreal conditional, is used to talk about imaginary or hypothetical situations. It's often used when we're discussing events that are unlikely to happen, or imagining what we would do in a particular situation. The structure of the second conditional is if plus past simple tense would plus infinitive without to. An example sentence might look like this. If I had a million dollars, I would buy a house. You'd use the second conditional when you want to talk about something that is unreal, impossible, or just very unlikely to happen in the present or future. It's perfect for daydreaming, making hypothetical plans, or imagining different outcomes. Here are some examples. If I were you, I would take the job. She would travel the world if she won the lottery. To truly master the second conditional, it's important to practice with lots of examples. For example, if I knew his address, I would send him an invitation. They would be very upset if we forgot their birthday. Also, pay attention to the fact that we use were instead of was after I and he, she, it in more formal English. If I were a bird, I would fly to you. But in informal English, was is often used. Yes, you can use the second conditional in questions as well. For instance, what would you do if you were the president? The structure here is what how plus would plus subject plus infinitive if plus subject plus past tense. And that wraps up our introduction to the second conditional. With a bit of practice, you'll be crafting hypothetical scenarios like a pro. Remember, the key is to understand the situations in which this form is used and then practice, practice, practice. Until next time, Keep exploring the beauty of English language, and happy learning!